find one, Mary Carolyn? It's so tiny. The Explorers program is designed really to help young students feel happy about going to school. How do you get an answer to that question that you have? All those why questions they've been asking since they were two, we're beginning to show them how to find answers. Children have an immense curiosity. They want to understand about nature. And we want to fan that curiosity, say that's, that's a God-given thing. It's a glory to understand what the universe is about. One of our goals is for them to experience joyful discovery every day and with any type of subject, indoors and outdoors. So they're kind of like just little explorers going out and experiencing the world that God's made. Ready? We come together for a math meeting for the first thing every day, and the students work on the calendar, learning how to count different number patterns. Other things that we do on a daily basis are the phonogram cards, and this is the basis for the students learning how to read. Recitation, so we also call that memory work, and the students memorize one verse and one poem and one hymn every month. A wind a blowing. Narration. At this age they're narrating back about a sentence or two sentences and this helps them to reprocess it. Another really important aspect of Explorers 2 is engaging in nature. We do picture study which is studying a artist from some time period. We also have composer study. Well, let's go back to the flute and we talked about how it was a good idea for the composer to use the flute to represent the bird. Can you tell me why it would make sense for a flute to be the bird? Because, Mary Caroline? Because it sounds like a bird. How does it sound like a bird? Can you give me some words? Because it sounds like, kind of like it's whistling. Because a bird whistles and that's her, kind of yeah. sounds like whistling. Exactly. See, you can imagine that bird. I'm going to play a little bit for you. As we memorize the phonograms faithfully every day, you, you see their awareness of letters grow. And, and then you get to that point where, you know, for example, Catherine will be sitting in the car, back seat of the car, and you hear her going, st, st, uh, up, stop. Mom, that sign says stop. That's the moment that she realizes what that sign says and what it means. And Charlotte Mesa said, Habits are to life what rails are to transport cars. If you don't lay them down deliberately, they'll lay themselves down of their own accord. So we want to be deliberate about developing and cultivating habits. That's one of the things about our culture is we recognize that children this age are sponges, so we want to give them great material that's worthy of absorbing. I really have appreciated too with my kids how the younger ones who are in Explorers feel every bit as much like they are doing real and important work as their older siblings. The core of the program is, is 8.30 to 12.30, four days a week for pre-K, five days a week for K. And it gives them an opportunity to do that focused work in the morning and then have the afternoon to either be here in the bridge program and just do more of the activities that they love to do, or if their parents are able, to be able to go home at 12.30 and play and be kids and we really value that a lot. Ready? Right now we will split you into the three groups 
so that you can go on your scavenger hunt. Can you find an ant or an insect? Look on the ground. Can you look for an ant or insect? Can you find something with a curved, wavy line? Oh, look at that. Look at that one. You can find something. I like that. I found something. Okay, bring it over. Come on, let's go down here. You have to show me that it's rough before you put it in. They're doing these activities that they love to do, and they're having a blast doing them. And at the same time, they're laying a foundation for themselves for early reading and early math and these other activities. You're putting them on a trajectory to be able to learn well in the later years if they've mastered these early reading, early math areas, and if they've already developed a love for learning in those younger years. Let me tell you a secret. Okay, That's what's the secret? When, when the other class has gone inside, you get to climb trees. Oh.